Hi guys, welcome back to the football series on the Sports Latte season two. And I have a special guest here with me today, someone who has done outstanding work this season. And I just believe he deserves his flowers. And I'm just very excited to hear about his journey in football and you know what does he have in store for his career. And yeah, so. Without further ado, let's welcome Xavier Davidson II. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for, thanks for the invite to the interview. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I remember we had like um a brief conversation. I think it was at the Olivia Shea finals. Um, yeah, after the game of know, What's your secret? But you know, you were a little bit emotional. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and, you know that's just a love for the sport. You know, it's a normal fight, and I really wanted to win the R three. You know, like my teammates as well. So, you know, we're really down about that. Yeah, and I did. I I think I went over to you, and I was just like, nobody with the balling. Like, Man. we're not going to do yeah, that right now. Like, dude, you're in Miami. Like, you don't need to worry about <laughs> that. As in, I understand that you'd want it, but I think at that time, at that stage of the season. You had done so much work over time mm -hmm. with this team to lead the team um, undefeated all season, win a title, win Champions Cup. Yes, you never got Olivia Shea, but just to be there, I think that was just a great accomplishment for you this season. Yeah, definitely, you know, because after the game, you know, all we could think about is losing. But a couple of days after, we thought about it and we had to look back at it. It was a really good season, you know, even though wanted everything. It was a really good season. I want to be proud of ourselves. But yeah, that. definitely. Definitely. Um, I want to... We're talking about Xavier Davis in 2023, but I want to hear about how did you um, recognize that you loved the sport of football so much and, you know, decided to do it? Talk to me about that. Well, that came from prep school. I wasn't really... It wasn't really solely football for me in prep school. I was one of those persons that did all the sports. But I had a special love for football, though, even though that was the only thing I was doing. And it just became a time when, you know, work got more hectic in school. So I had to limit the amount of things I started doing. I went, when I went to JC, it was just the perfect sport to do, you know, because JC, you know, is one of the best football schools. And just going there was just a football environment. And my love grew more the more I was at JC. Was there any other school that you wanted to go to or at that time you knew for sure it was JC? No, it was, it was always JC, you know. I didn't really have any interest in anyone, any other school. Obviously, I had to have five choices, but my main choice was always JC. And why? I, I don't know, you know. Obviously, as I said, it was about the football. But other than that, you know, I haven't, as I obviously I haven't been to JC or anything. But I just saw from the outside as a kid growing up, that you know, everybody wants to play money for JC. And as somebody yeah. that likes football, I just saw it as, you know, the only school for me. Yeah. And... There are three levels or three stages in secondary um education for football. So you have Pepsi, Coles, yeah. Manning Cup. You went through yeah. all of these stages. Yeah, I played. I played every year. You know, the only year I haven't played is you know my first Manning Cup year, which was because of COVID. But I've been on the team for all years growing up. So it was always football and school. Well, that's that's pretty outstanding. What I want to know is, JC is known for great football teams, great competitive yeah. Manning Cup teams. You yeah. have seen the likes of great coaches walk through um, Jamaica College, great captains. Now, when yeah. they gave you the captaincy or that position, you know, like, what was running through your head? Like, Jano, no, me, I forgot to lead, like, a bug are you? Are they going to listen to me? Um, yeah. You know, like, stuff like that. I want to know what's going through your head because getting the captain position to me is yeah. Yeah, Definitely, sir. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, I can say when I was in first form, I couldn't see myself being the captain of the team this year. So it's just every year that, that I've been through at JC, you know, I've changed as a person because even though I don't think I'm that much outgoing, I think I've grown as a person and maybe I'm not one of those outgoing, um, you know, big out there leaders, but you know, I try to my best to make my actions lead instead of being that person, you know. And you know, because I know that I know there's a lot of different type of leaders. So I try to be that kind of leader, you know. And with this JC team, even though I'm the captain, there's a lot of captains, you know, on the team. So it was very easy for me to to lead them this season. And I want to know. 
because usually when we see captains for teams, whether it's NFL, um, any of those like basketball on TV, yeah. we see like the leader, like you know, being very loud, like shouting, like you know, yeah. very macho. I want to know mm -hmm. if Xavier Davidson has that side to him where he's just like shouting at the boys, telling them to get it, get it together and stuff like that. I don't yeah. know what you're saying. Yeah. As I say, you know, there will be glimpses, there will be one and two glimpses, but as I say, you know, um, I'm a different kind of leader in certain situations. I'm very calm in certain situations where other leaders would have been outgoing and everything. So, yeah, there's glimpses of that, but as I said, I'm majority that kind of calm head that's always there to kind of talk to everybody instead of being that one to, you know? Yeah, so. I fully get that. And you are in sixth form at Jamaica College? Yeah, so... upper six. Upper six. Okay, great. So you're looking forward to what now? Like, what is the plan for Xavier? Um, is he just going with the flow right now? Um, after mm -hmm. this great season, what's going on for the next? What you call it? Six months. Um. Yeah. Well. For you. Well, you know. Um, I'm somebody that likes to take it step by step when I reach the bridge across it. Um, mm -hmm. but you know, obviously, I have my plan. It's always football. You know, because that's a career path I want to go in. Um, I'm looking to play professional football. So that's what I'm working to. And the most I can do is my part. So I'm just working on what I can do. And hopefully everything will fall into place. Yes, you are a part of a, a defense unit, a very, or maybe the strongest defense unit in the Manning Cup this season. You and Romain Blake, we spoke to Romain Blake last season on the football yeah. series. And this year we're speaking to, you know, his teammates. Tell me how is how is it um as being one of the strongest defense units, right? Um say yeah. you come up against a a team with a striker like a whisper, for example. You know, yeah. I want to I want to know what's going through your mind. How are you mentally preparing yourselves for the stronger encounters? Because in the beginning of the season, the teams are mm -hmm. easy. You kind yeah. of just, it's almost like a training session, you know? But as the season progresses and the competition gets harder, I want to know how is it that you mentally, like, keep yourself intact? Well, a, a big part of that is as much as there's a lot of talk about, you know, a lot of JC just building sides every year, you know? The defense line was basically a team that has been there from under 16, you know? So Dante Wines, Romain Blake, Michael Graham, all of us played under 16 together. So have a chemistry outside of Manning Cup and you know with the quality that each of us have you know it's easy because all of us understand the game you know even though, the, the, even though it wasn't that consistent in terms of the defence line you know even pe people like Renton Sales who was there as well you know they understand the game so it's very easy when four people understand the game you know and we train every day and we've been together for pre-season to be together to know that if one person may come to stay the other person is there for you so it's kind of you know calm up mind and even Rasikov as well he was there you know, with under 16 level, so it was easy for us. Well, 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 at least I know now that there's chemistry. And speaking of chemistry, it's almost as if that chemistry wasn't just with you for schoolboy football. Now, everywhere you go, you're with these people. You, you play all man in, Romain is there with you. Um, Graham is there with you. Now you're abroad yeah, and probably. they're there with you as well. So it's almost like you guys are yeah, like, always together for you. like a dream team. Um, yeah. Speaking of that, you are in where? Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Yeah, yeah, Fort Lauderdale. Um, yeah. playing in a competition right now. Um, tell mm. me how is it? How does it feel to be representing your country? Um, yeah, tell me how it feels to represent Jamaica as a yeah, young. As much as it's an, yeah, as much as it's an all schools team, you know. Um, the fact that we're, I'm representing Jamaica is a big deal for me because it's the first time that I'm represent, representing Jamaica and with a lot of people that, you know, I haven't played with, but I have an idea of, you know, who they are and how they play. So it's really for us now to, you know, train it more and have a lot of more team bonding to get together and play better. Because I think the first game that we played wasn't as best as we could, but, you know, I don't want to make any excuses, you know, but we weren't really a unit in that first game. And that's understandable because it's the first game together. And I think it will only get better from there. But I'm enjoying the moment. Yes, I enjoy the moment. This episode is titled Leading by Example. And um, I want to know who 
behind the scenes kept you grounded so you were able to or so that you could be able to lead um a group of boys in winning two titles this season well you know obviously as i said is as much as i'm the leader that you guys see there's a lot of leaders there so all of us put together you know could really anybody back the home team. and it was a very oh um, yeah definitely um or oh, this are oh, you talking about this all money team or no, I'm talking about who are the people behind the scenes that kind of help to keep you grounded. Oh, def oh, for me, okay, okay, so definitely. All right, so for me, you know, obviously, I have my family that is, you know, talking to me and everything after the games, calling me and everything, especially my mom. She, you know, she always talks to me about what I can do wrong, you know, after the game. It's not that she would have given my credit and everything. Should I bring up the things that I could have done better and, you know, little moments. And because she also has a relationship with my teammates as well, you know, so she, cause you know, she, she has know been the football, friend. like you have a yeah. real football mom. <laughs> yeah, cause she has been watching every game from I've been at Pepsi, so she knows all of my teammates and everything, and she's always there. And obviously, the coaches that you see, like Coach Ferguson, the management staff, and everything. But for me, you know, my club coach Andre Virtue, he's somebody that you know every time I've had the problem, I call and we talk. So he I have a good relationship with him as well. Okay, and is it, I want to know, is there any footballer from previous Manning Cup seasons that you, like, looked up to or wanted to emulate? Well, in, not so much recently. There's a lot of, lot of footballers that I respect, but not that I want to emulate. But in coming in first time, I can say the first the person, the footballer that drew my eye was, you know, Malik Cowell. He was somebody that played a similar position as me because as much as I was, I'm a centre-back now, I was a right-back. In Pepsi, so he's and somebody. And he was a captain as well. Yes, he was a captain, but I I never see myself being the captain. But I saw myself playing the right back, so I tried to emulate him. But now, you know, I just try to take bits and pieces of everybody. I don't think there's really one person that I that I want to emulate. Mm, okay, um, and if you were supposed to pick your starting eleven, right? Yeah. For the Manning Cup, any school, it doesn't have to be Jamaica College. I want okay. to know who would be Xavier's starting, who would be in Xavier's starting 11. Okay, so I'll start off in goal. Uh, Rasika Rose, um, you know, this me and Romain at center back, Michael Guillermo at left back, <laughs> Renson Sears at right back, Saviola Blake at midfield, Jamal Bennett at eight. Kevon Wilson at 10, Javier Lynch at strike, Makwan Aldridge at left wing, and Jane Fraser at right wing. That's not like a JC team. That's not an all manning yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. That's an all manning team. That's my best team. Ah! <laughs> all right, all right. I won't fight you. I won't fight you. So don't come for me, guys. Come for Xavier. That's his team for all manning. Well, Xavier, it was great talking to you. Um, you too, you too. I like the fact that you know where you want to go. Um, you worked very hard this season to accomplish what you've accomplished. And obviously, you can see that you have your head screwed. Um, but before we go, we have to play some rapid questions. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. if you weren't a defender, what would you want to be? Which position would you okay. want to play? Striker. <laughs> oh, really, though? No? Yeah. Because as much as I love defending, I love being that guy to make the last ditch tackles, you know, the strikers get most of the glory most of the time when they win the game. So, obviously, that position would be one that I want to play. Oh, so your team say he's a big baller. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> even in, in the games, as much as you see me playing centre-back, you see me run up and the all of this winger oh, and striker. Okay. Business, so. <laughs> you like you like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Okay, when playing, even playing and scrimmage or anything, it's not centre back. I play strike and midfield. Oh. So okay, uh, let's look, look. Let's look out to see if we see any goals from Xavier Davidson. You know, um, Nike or Puma. Nike. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to pick two. I can't make you pick between JC and KC. But you're going to pick JC. Yeah, JC. <laughs> JC, JC. Um, let's see. 
if you were supposed to play any other sport other than football, what would it be? Table tennis, you know, because as I said, you know, I told you that I was somebody that did a lot of sports and I represented my school when I was in prep mm -hmm. school and I came third in the national league. So I guess table tennis is something that I would have done if it was my football. Table tennis, interesting. And who is your favorite footballer? <sighs> right now? Okay, yeah, right now, obviously. Play. Half every one of the Arsenal players in the cast. I'm a diehard Arsenal fan. Oh, so okay. I'm actually team also. in support, you know. <laughs> Come on, Arsenal, Arsenal. You know, I've been to a lot of rough patches with them, but it's time for us to celebrate now. <laughs> and, hmm. Well, you say Arsenal is your favorite team, so it don't make sense to ask that. Um, are you an introvert or an extrovert? Introvert, introvert, man. I tell you, I'm not really that outgoing person, so I'm introverted. Intro, okay. And if you had the opportunity to have a train, this is the last question, you know, I want you to think about it. Okay. If you had the opportunity okay. to train with anybody, any, any footballer, any coach at any specific club, what would it be? Those three. They don't have to okay, go so, together, you know. I just want to okay. hear what what they want to play with, who is going to be the coach, and where do you want to play this football? Okay, so the footballer, as I said, Serge Ramos, he's, he's very experienced. You know, he's a leader as well. So to get to play with him, that would be that would be a wonderful feel. I think I would learn a lot from him, you know, because he's been through so much, has won so much time. So it would have to be Serge Ramos. The coach... The best coach in the world right now, Pep Guardiola, it'd have to be him, you know. He has taught so much fo big footballers now, and even big managers that you're seeing right now, he has been the person that was really guiding them, like Mikel Arteta, you know, Xavi, um, Vincent Company, he has been that person that was guiding them, you know, so to learn from him would be amazing. Um, the team, it'd have to be Real Madrid at Arsenal, because, you know, Real Madrid, to me, is the best club ever. You know, the, the, the amount of titles they have won and the quality players that they have had, you know, they have to be to train either Real Madrid or Arsenal. Right well, that sounds good to me, guys. I just want to let you know that Xavier was very excited for this interview. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so if you hear him rumbling, um, but Xavier, I'm just very happy that you took the time out. I know you, you have... Well, today probably is an off day for you. But yeah. um, I know you're away right now playing football, representing the country and your school. Very, very proud of you from the Sports Latte. And I'm so happy that you, you know, could speak to us today and we hear your story. And I hope that you can, you know, impact the youth. Do you have anything you want to leave with? Well, first of all, I'd like, yeah, first of all, I'd like to thank, you know, Sports Latte for, you know, asked me to be on there. As you said, I was very excited for the interview. I saw the interviews last year, you know, with my teammates. And to, to be on it this year is a good feeling. Um, I'd like to thank the persons that are viewing it for the support and my family, my teammates and my coaches at Jamaica College and my club, Ligani. I'd like to big up all of my supporters. And just, you know, there's, you can expect more from me. So just continue to, to support me and I'll, I'll try my best to deliver. Well, you heard it here first. A lot more to expect from Xavier Davidson. And guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, follow Xavier on Instagram at Xavier underscore. Xavier is X-A-V-I dot E-R-O-4. Okay, you heard him say it. Go and follow him. <laughs> follow the sports latte. Share this video. And, you know, let's just continue talking about sports, evolving in the world of sports. And who are we going to hear from next? Will it be his teammates? Will it be somebody else? Let's see. <laughs> Bye, guys.